happy King's Day to all my Dutch friends and everybody who is celebrating and those who are now in Holland. I am a bit jealous, even though I know that the weather is not that good today to celebrate King's Day. I will tackle this topic about proud national holidays in both Ukraine and the Netherlands. Keep watching! I'm trying to be festive. Look, I even borrowed my husband's shirt because I personally don't own anything orange, unfortunately, these days. Let's start back to the history. How come we celebrate King's Day where it's coming from? Well, it started to be celebrated in 19th century. Back then it was a holiday, somewhere at the end of August, and that was basically a real holiday of Queen Wilhelmina. Somehow this holiday was transferred to the 30th of April. I'm not sure how it happened, but once I came to Holland we were celebrating Queen's Day. How come now it's a King's Day and it's celebrated on 27th? In 2013 it was still a Queen's Day, so we were celebrating it on 30th of April. The Queen empowered her son to be a king. And since then, since 2014, we are celebrating King's Day on 27th of April. Usually it's a national holiday, so no one works, everyone is partying. Everything around is orange today and smells like beer in Amsterdam. I will show you some pictures from the years before when I was there for the King's Day. I also... yeah, here it is. That's the cupcakes I sold in 2016. Well, uh, this is the only day when you can sell anything without paying taxes. So all the streets are covered with the street markets, even kids are selling their own stuff, old books, to earn some money for something they really want. What about Ukraine? Our biggest national holidays, I believe, which could be comparable to King's Day in the Netherlands, is Independence Day of Ukraine, Independence from USSR. We started to celebrate it 26 years ago, since 1991, once the independence declaration was signed between two parties and Ukraine became absolutely independent state. Why these holidays are comparable? Well, um, because they both look like pretty much a big festival, big holiday, national holiday, nothing works, everyone is around on the streets. Everyone is wearing national colors, national clothing, everyone's partying. A lot of people are trying to catch their hype with it. I believe it's a good holiday for those who like to party. I know for sure that there are lots of tourists who tend to come for King's Day to Amsterdam. And I've heard some people really want to see Independence Day in Ukraine and visit some contests which are for free and they're on the streets. But I wouldn't suggest to come to Ukraine for Independence Day because I find it's not really safe because people are drinking a little bit and as long as Ukrainians are really nationalistic I don't think it's a good idea. I definitely think that it's worth coming and seeing these holidays twice in both countries for once. Um, those people who like parties, who like really festive music, who like beers, they're gonna enjoy it for sure. As for me, I was always trying to escape uh, King's Day because it was like extra holidays right after the exams and for Ukrainian Independence Day I was also always busy because it's my mom's birthday and my grand grandma's birthday so I always um, kind of missed all the parties but still I don't think I lost much last year I've been to my hometown for my grand grandma's birthday so yeah <laughs> I don't remember when was the last time I, I was celebrating Independence Day of Ukraine. Well, and I don't think it's even wise to invest so much money into national holidays once we have a war on the eastern border. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the party. If you like this video, I would kindly ask you to put the thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's really, really important for me. Have a wonderful day and great parties. See you guys later. Bye.